For those of you who don't know, there's a 3D vehicle challenge going on right now. There's three weeks left to create your art. It isn't too late. Cause you know what? If your render looks like this right now, that's okay. Because that's literally my render. I'm putting all the renders together into a super sweet montage and would love to see your render in that montage. If you wanna get started, there's a download link to the files in the description below. But I also wanna talk about the submission link and more specifically, how to submit a proper render that makes it into the montages no matter what, all right? But before we dive in, I wanna shout out Rococo, who's not only sponsoring this video, but the Endless Engines 3D Challenge with smart gloves for third place, a Smart Suit Pro 2 for second, and a full performance capture for first. Since the beginning, they've been huge fans of these 3D challenges by giving away suits and gloves, but today I wanna to tell you about their no suit needed, absolutely free motion capture solution called Rococo Video, which is probably the fastest way to get custom mocap data into your 3D scene. It's as simple as you dropping a clip of you doing your thing onto their site and hitting process. And from there it pops into Rococo Studio, their free software where you can clean things up if need be and export. And a lot of you guys actually used Rococo Video in a cool way for their latest character-based dating app. 3D challenge. All right, so Rococo is raffling off a free pair of smart gloves this month only to anyone who processes a clip using Rococo video. The tool is absolutely free, super easy to use, and super useful when it comes to adding characters to say your Endless Engines 3D scene. So click that link in the description to get up in that raffle and test out Rococo video for yourself. All right, so the submission link is live as of today. The link is in the description just because there's a submission link does not mean you need to submit right now, take your time, finish your art. But for the artists who submit and for all the artists who eventually submit, there's always a handful of artists that end up in the pit of despair. I regret that we have to dispose of you. Where am I? The pit of despair. They don't make it in the montages. Why? Because their frame rate is off, because their frame count is off, because their resolution is off. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Let's take a look. I got a bunch of renders here, all right? There's like 400 renders in here. This is the first thing I do, all right? I filter by frame count. Now, this is for the past challenge. So the correct frame count was 144. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all these ones that aren't 144 frames, I'm gonna put them in the pit of despair. I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna look at all these ones that, oh, 145, one frame off, but Clint, that's so intense, it's just one frame, can't you trim it? You know what? If I trimmed all of these frames and I conformed all these renders to fit this thing, no, that's your job, that's your job, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm being harsh on this, okay? That's your job. FPS, oh, 23976. Pit of despair. Believe it or not, in jail right away. But dude, can't you just conform? Isn't it the same? No, no. What is this? What is this? What is this? 25 FPS? The rules were 24. Pit of despair, gone. Oh, but what about resolution? Oh, okay, so 3840 by 1620. That's passable. These ones are not, unfortunately. 1920 by 1080. Unfortunately, it was 1920 by 810. Also jail. Now all the renders left over with the proper frame count, the proper resolution, the proper frame rate. I got all the tech specs listed down here for the Endless Engines Challenge. That's it. Those artists, they stay in here. I drag out their art, I drop it in the timeline, and I go through and judge the render challenge. Now the Pit of Despair artists, those renders that are one frame off, maybe that are point 036 off on the frame rate, I'll see what I can do, all right? But no promises. You do not want to be in the pit of despair. Few artists make it out, most of them, they're in the pit to this day. Download DaVinci if you have to. Like, do what I'm doing. I'm on the edit tab right down here, okay? Look at your frame count, look at your resolution, look at your frames per second, make sure it's good, then submit, all right? I want to get as many of you guys in this montage as possible. Can only submit one time so do it right don't waste your own time you spent five weeks on this thing you guys put a lot of effort into this now if you guys are like me and your render still looks like a bunch of cubes slapped together then welcome to the club it is not too late to start this challenge you got a few weeks left to create something awesome so dive in have fun with us download the project files linked in the description and be sure to hop into the discord server as well it's a great place 
to get advice from the community also working on this challenge, as well as get updates on the project files and whatnot. We're also doing virtual meetups every single Monday instead of live streams here on the channel. So it's a great way for you guys to come up for five minutes talk with me and the moderators, show your art off, show it to the community, talk about pitfalls, talk about different problems you might be having, and we'll have a little back and forth and help you guys out on your renders. This time it's actually Tuesday because of a US holiday. So I'll see you guys Tuesday at noon on the Discord server. Also, we got challenge merch for the first time ever. We put together these incredible Endless Engines collectible stickers. There's only a thousand for sale once they sell out. No more restocks. So these turned out really nice. It's a whole sticker sheet, you can even see the little details, little cars, little motorcycles in the background. It's quite nice. These turned out really cool. It's a great way for you guys to collect a little bit of challenge swag as you go throughout these competitions. Got you guys with a link down below, of course. So hop on in and challenge yourself this month and create a sweet vehicle render with us. It's not too late. I'll see you guys on the Discord this Tuesday at noon, and I'll be back to stream on this channel on March 4th to help you guys through the finish line for that March 12th deadline. Good luck with your renders, and I'll catch y'all soon. Peace.